What do you want? Pretty much what you would expect when you show up to the bodega. Welcome in. This is Rich and Kim. What's up, Rich? I want to make it up, really yo? clear. This is nice Kim. Not to be confused with the Kim we can't show. Here's a picture of the Kim we can't show. And her car we can't show. Anyway. This is the, the Hoonigan Bodega. We built it. We launched it. It's open. You can come here and you can shop here. Come by, get a t-shirt, order a sandwich. Kim makes a great BLT. Salt, pepper, ketchup. We do have fat boys. Because the people we buy ice cream from are shaming. Shaming us. You're not mad at that. I just ate one. We on have the last for real cake. ice cream. We Cut got to the for last real cake. Is this really how this episode is starting? Yeah. yeah I've been rolling. Do you think there's anyone who's watching who doesn't know what a bodega is? Probably. Bodega is a place where it has a little bit of everything, but not enough to be like a grocery store. You could buy like cigarettes, condoms, lotto tickets. Hold on. Let's be very clear. Off brand condoms. Rough Riders. That's how killers get down. Things like that. You could also get like a breakfast sandwich, a lunch sandwich, maybe some weird hot dinner all soup. All times of the day. Three o'clock yeah. in the morning, breakfast sandwich available. International calling cards. A charging cable for Nokia 9100. <laughs> So anyway, this is the bodega. As you can see, we got gear here. We got an RC track. We got our cars. Look at shit car in all of its glory. Or Nad's car that, you know, is here. Uh, or Selva. <laughs> we also got the Warthog. We got a wild Nad's in the background. Oh, we got RC stuff. We got a bunch of RC stuff. We even got a fitting room. With a mirror. So, so if you want to come and steal our stuff instead of pay for it, yeah. you can go right in the fitting room. But this area is actually pretty rad. So what we're going to do here is this is going to be like our car installation area. Right now we got the Halo Warthog. Soupy and Alex slaved over building this thing. Later in the year, maybe we'll have like some Gymkhana cars, new builds that we do. We can put them and you guys can come check them out. Anyway, that's the bodega. Check out the hours right here or down below. Come and see us. Buy some stuff. And see by the Kim, way, if you see really Rich. try to come here and steal something from the dressing room, it's cool, but you have to naked wrestle my man Big Rich. By the Arguably way, I taller than Brian. His so. name is Big Richard. Just ask if you want to wrestle that man or not. And now, the episode can start. Yo, Ron's this guy at a party, by the way. Now. Yo, I learned from the best. No, stop Ron it. Stop, stop. That leaves his drink right on your table. I'm Probably no coaster. You don't respect Check it out. Four episodes from now, that'll still be yeah. there. Oh, you want to see my office with what this guy <laughs> leaves in there? You want a job? Actually, I don't even know if I can fire No, I don't think anymore. you can anymore, but yeah. that's cool. Speaking of fire, look at this build. Another car I kind of want to build myself. Not this actual car, but like, I think everyone at some point in their life has to build a motorcycle powered car. You know what's the best part about what you just pick. said though? What? You could use this after any episode, almost. What's up, man? How are you? Hey, what's your name? Where are you from? Matt Brown from LA. What'd you bring over here? We got a 1964 Honda S600. Yes. 1000 cc motorcycle engine. Yeah. Ooh. We, can look at that right away. we can look at that right away. 1000 cc's of fury. So what's it out of? About a 2007 or possibly 2006 CBR 1000 RR. Um, okay. Yeah, that's kept, kept it in the Honda family. Kept it in the Honda family. Everybody does the Hayabusa. I wanted to keep it Honda. What type of power is a 1000 cc Honda engine make? So this year is not super popular because it only makes about 165 horsepower, whereas a lot of the others around that time were closer to 200. But it revs to like super cheap. Yeah. So I got the whole but engine, is... wiring harness, everything for a thousand bucks. Wow. Isn't that about? About 3x the power of this car oh, yeah. made stock. 47, I think, originally. <laughs> what yeah. RPM and this does this spin do? 47 horsepower. 12,000. You know what? That's what I love about bike motors. That's all, it doesn't matter how much horsepower it makes. It every every moon. sport bike pretty much has a race motor in it. Because I've done a lot of research on trying to put oh, motorcycle engines into, into cars. rabbits, front, back, side, three of them, four of them, two on the roof, whatever. Exactly. What are you doing for transmission? Like it's just the motorcycle transmission. So you run the motorcycle trans. So you just have an output flange coming off like where 
was yeah. it a geared bike or was it a took, chain bike? Took the uh, sprocket, welded on a little sleeve, and That's a little it. water jet uh, flange. And you haven't sleeve. blown the trans, it's been good. Holy what does this thing weigh? You could see it's it right about here. 1350 with me in it. You could see the drive shaft right there. Oh yeah. Halfway through oh, is cool. a reverse gearbox that so I can actually have reverse, because oh, obviously nice. the motorcycle engine doesn't have reverse. You could also just get out and push it backwards. Yeah, I, I initially did that, yeah. and it is surprisingly way more annoying than you would think oh. it would be. You want to know how bad this is? The reverse box that he's talking about, I have bookmarked on my phone. Oh. When will it end? So it's hand clutch? Hand clutch, just like a motorcycle. But it's, and is it just like one forward, five back exactly. or something? So why do that instead of actually build out a pedal that worked? I don't know, I used to race motorcycle powered race cars and I just really like the clutch, so I just got the feel for it. So the know, thing that's kind of a better. trip is like on a motorcycle, the clutch is in your left hand. It's in your left hand here, yeah. but it's on a right lever. Is that weird at all? Not really, because I just use my two fingers. Anyway. Okay. I love that the stock tack engage cluster for the motorcycle basically it just looks like a stack setup. Yeah, like it just looks there. instant race car. Like Ron said, motorcycles just come with mini race car engines and parts. Dude, That's what makes like, it so cool. Yeah. You think what it would have taken to take a four cylinder Honda motor to rev it to 12.3 and all the oiling and getting the power yep. and doing all that reliably, but now ah, you just have that out of the box. Right there. I that mean, how much did that thing cost you? Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks yeah. for something that. And what did the call, what did the chassis cost you? Okay, so this is crazy. I bought this about maybe 13 years ago for 1,300 dollars. So just some quick math. Thousand for the engine, thirteen hundred for the car, and a thousand dollars to be able to go into reverse. Yeah, exactly. So you could have all of this for about twenty three hundred bucks plus the suspension I mean, and like, seats. I mean, Let's say summer. five grand. Well, okay. So I pulled the body off the frame and I redid the whole frame. It's got Miata suspension, Miata outboard. I bought all the stuff used. So yeah. It's pretty cheap. We never factor in labor. We just assume that you'll be and able then, to do it well, yourself. I had to buy a Miata to get all that. But we know that our time is worth asking. Which and business. actually buying Miatas is no longer cheap. You used to be able to get those for right. two hundred bucks. Now like a crap. Happy one is still fifteen hundred. Miata rear suspension, but I see some inboards. Yeah, yeah. So the so. Uh, A arms and the uprights, the brakes are Miata. The shocks are actually <laughs> you can all see. One motorcycle. Yeah, I mean that's like the top strut mount piece for a Miata right there. And so these are motorcycle rear shocks. Motorcycle rear shocks. The front shocks are from an R six. The rear ones are from a Yamaha R one. Yo, hands down, this is one of my favorite hey, this, cars this I've ever seen crazy. here. This is the type of stuff I dream about at night, and it's just here it is. One you, minor detail that I like that's just super shithead is you put your registrations on upside down. <laughs> Just to be a dick. <laughs> you know, it's like, fuck you, authority. But Quietly. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just on Sundays after three. Go ahead, wipe your little eyes. Go right ahead. Can we start this thing up? Oh, I want to hear this yeah, thing. I want to hear it. Just driving and you pulled up next to this thing and he revved on you. What do you do? Like roll your window up and look down? Well, you quit. You go home and you stop and you don't do anything else. You actually drive this thing a lot. Like you hit the canyons with it. You're up around like, what does it drive like? Is it everything you wanted it to be or reason, is it? The reason I did this car in the first place was two reasons. I've always loved the S600, but I also kind of wanted a shifter cart with a license plate and it's pretty much a shifter cart with a license plate. That's amazing. Plate. Oh, that's that's the best sales. That. You should start a dealership. I would buy that. Sold. Yeah, it looks like an old shit box, but it drives like a shifter cart with a license and play it, I'd be like, that's exactly what I, I came in for. I don't care what it costs, just take this. Dude, yeah. I feel like we should run a, a autocross course in here with cones and put one of the Soupies cart gang oh my against God. it. Yo, yo, that? that sounds like a good that's idea. A good idea. Somebody get their shifter cart ready. He said he'll take you on the cart. Tony is the king of carts in the yard. This man once jumped his cart off the drop, scraped the seat through the fiberglass, and had fiberglass shards in his ass. In my ass. All right, let's get the cart out. The let's do a little or... face off. All right, so we're gonna go Honda first. We're actually gonna start from this barrel, and give him a little bit of rollout since he can't necessarily launch. This is the start finish line. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Three, two, one.
27. All right, well, Tony Hoyos let us down. He did, he, he let down did the family. Did he leave? Tony. He just went home? Tony went home in disgrace. He left out of pure shame. Yeah, what's that Japanese He was talking seppuku. <laughs> he was talking so much game, and yet the bike-powered Honda takes the win. Nice work, sir. Thank nice you. work. Thank Dude, that thing is sick. That's a really awesome build. I brought you donuts. <laughs> yes! Ah, so close. That thing, that thing rotated. <laughs> The yeah. confidence. The scumbag just creeps in. Are you kidding me? I've actually never seen anyone do, I'm gonna call it the pendulum donut. Yo, the pendulum yeah, just yeah, like yeah. back and forth. Like. It, was just, it was actually a Scandinavian tip in. Yeah, it was a Scando tip in. Scando tip in, did first I time. Or did I no, you were just super close. close. My friend, that was sick. I gotta hand it to you. That was full commit, and then you didn't stop. You you were like, oh my god, it does it. I want to do this many more times. Yeah, there's one more thing. This is pretty cool. I have a YouTube channel, Super Fast Matt. Check it out. I hit a hundred thousand subscribers while doing donuts here on this on this video. Whoa! Cool. Yeah. Look at that. See, come to Hoonigan, do some donuts, hit a hundred K subs. That's what happens. Go ahead and say that it's not an easy car to shred. You got big meaty R888s on the back that get hot real quick. The clutch doesn't want to cooperate. I have to give my man 53 and a half. Because once he sent it, the smile on his face, beaming, sent it, smoky, almost hit a container. Maybe he could come back with a handbrake and a little more control, but 53 and a half. 12,000 RPM, doing pendulum burnouts. Never even seen it before. Man's innovating a space. I'm gonna give him a 50, Three and a half. Woo. All right, that was pretty rad. I'm glad I wasn't sitting in it, but it looked like a lot of fun. I like the wheel hop going around the corners. 59. Whoa! 59 out of 69. I like it. Can I try to fit in it real quick? Got it, guys. I mean, maybe with the top off, it'd be a lot better. <laughs> Don't feel me getting out. That's more embarrassing. No, just spill out. <laughs>